What is up, Chili Heads? Guess what time it is? It's review time. Burton Hollow sent us some products to be reviewed, so here we are. We're gonna see if Simplicity can actually spark any flavor. Reason for that being is that Flavor First is their big model, and each of their recipe contains seven ingredients or less, which I guess less is more. We're gonna see if you could actually get any flavor off of these guys, so let's get started. All right, so they're a small batch company from Buffalo, New York. Check out their logo. And the first one we're going off with is called Sting of the Ancients. And the reason being, it has honey and I think habanero. Habanero peppers, lime, distilled vinegar, honey, salt, and garlic. So you're gonna get hit with some sweet and heat. You're gonna have that habanero. It's like the first ingredient, so it's gonna be hot right off the bat. And then the honey's more on the bottom, so it's gonna mask up some of that heat. Let's shake it up. Like, dude, check it out. It has some pulp, you can see the seeds. She's a thick one. Oh, fuck. There we go. Oh, oh. I always struggle with these guys. I don't know why I never take them off before I do the video, but it's whatever. And here we are. Ah, finally. Ooh, that sounds like freshness. Okay. First thing you get is that aroma of the habanero peppers. Check out the core. Nice color, has some little chunks in there. So it's not ultra runny. Check it out. All right, let's give it a go. Let's see if we can get some flavor. Wow. That is very flavorful and it's definitely sweet. You definitely get hit with the habanero front. I actually dig that. Dude, this would go great on some pizza. I mean, even eggs, burritos. There's quite a bit you can do with this one. And that sweetness isn't like too overpowerful. You're getting hit with layers of flavor, which I can definitely agree. Less is more. And they definitely rock this guy out. Um, yeah, Sting of the Ancients. Awesome job on that one. So we got one down, we've got two more to go. And the next one we've got is quite interesting with the ingredients because it's got kiwi in it. Uh, let's see, yes, yeah, the first ingredient, then you got lemon, jalapenos, water, distilled vinegar, garlic, and salt. And this one's called Awaken the Dead with a one on the heat specter. There we go. So I wonder if we're gonna get like notes of the kiwi up front or how this is gonna work. At least I can say I had my fruit servings today with this having kiwi. <laughs> yeah, I know, main joke. <laughs> go all right let's get cracking okay hmm this one's interesting she's a thick one check it out with some I don't know what that is I don't know I guess it's like skin from the kiwi I don't know let's check it out though That one is very different. I'm gonna try that one again. Like, I don't know. Like, there's a lot going on and I can't pinpoint what that first flavor it is right that I get hit with right up front. It's like a Verde sauce comparable to me. I don't get like a big hint of kiwi or anything sweet like that. But there's definitely a lot going on with those seven ingredients. Um, yeah, it's just a very mild verde sauce. Awaken the dead. Alrighty, that was number two. And the next one we've got, well, let me show you. Blood of Heroes. And this one is like a dark red. So I know it has tomatoes, uh, roasted tomatoes, and cherries, roasted jalapenos, distilled vinegar, garlic, and salt. And yeah, voila. I like that color. It's like a beet red. Ooh, she's thick too. She is thick. Like clogged up thick. There we go. All right. Yo, see that? It's like a thick, thick. 
Okay. Reminds me of like a ketchup. Man, yeah, it tastes to me like a spicy ketchup. That's unique too. I gotta say, my favorite one though, out of all three, is this guy, the Sting of the Ancients. Definitely, definitely good flavor, heat, all well balanced. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. We just did the review for Burning Hollow. I'm Hot Sauce Mike, until our next video, later.